Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we're looking at the fourth grade concept of angles, specifically how we can measure and draw them, and we'll do it in five minutes or less. So what you see here on this screen is a tool, and it's called a protractor, and that's how we measure angles, just like we use a ruler to measure length, or we might measure use a scale to measure weight. So this protractor shows us degrees, and so I've got a very basic angle for us here. So this is why we call a right angle or a square angle right here. I'm going to call this right angle 90 degrees because if you were to measure it on a protractor, one line would be on the zero and the other line would be on the 90. And that is your 90 degrees. That's a perpendicular line because you've got one of the line segments that's going straight up and one that is going straight to the side. That's probably the easiest that you will ever see an angle on a protractor. Often the angles you'll be asked to measure are going to look something like this. The only thing that's the same is that our vertex is always going to be right there in that middle portion, not at the very bottom, but within that circle. So what you have here are your two lines or your two rays, and they're not neither of them is on zero. So we have to do a little bit of subtraction. So you can take now you have inner numbers and outer numbers. So let's use the outer numbers. So my outer number is 50 on that ray, and my outer number is between 1. 40 and 150, so we are going to call that 145. So if I wanted to find the measure of this angle, I would simply subtract the larger from the smaller. So I would say 145 minus 50, and that is going to be 95. So it's an obtuse angle because it's just barely above 90. Anything that is greater than 90 is obtuse. But you could also do it if you wanted to take the inside number, your 130, and your inside number over here, which is between 40 and uh, 30. So we're going to call that 35. And so we're going to need to borrow here. And as you notice, we're going to get the exact same answer. So the only reason we have inside numbers and outside numbers is dependent. You notice that you have a zero on the inside over on the right. You have a zero on the outside over on the left. So it just depends on if your angle opens to the left or opens to the right, you can use either one. But whenever you have two uh, rays or two line segments that are neither of them are touching zero, you're going to have to take the two numbers and subtract them. So let's say you only have one line and this is at the 70 degrees or the 110 degrees, whether you're looking at inside, outside, and you needed to draw an, another line to make an acute angle. So remember an acute angle is anything that is less than a right angle, anything less than 90 degrees. So what you simply could do, and I wanna make a pretty skinny acute angle here. So let's say I wanna go 20 degrees. And so I'm gonna make my second line here go straight up through the 90. Notice how it's 90 either way, because that's the midpoint there. So that's gonna be my acute angle because it is exactly 20 degrees. Now, starting at this first uh, red line on the left, how can I make a right angle? Remember, a right angle is exactly 90 degrees. Well, I'm going to start at the 70, and I need to go to the right 90. I'm looking at the outer number, so I can just think to myself, 90 and 70 makes 160. So it's going to be all the way over here. So I'm going to draw that line right through there. And there is my right angle. It's my 90 degrees because I took my 20 for my acute angle. And then if you see, I added another 70 to get from uh, the second red line to the blue line. We actually have a name for two angles that add together to make 90 degrees, and that's complementary angles. My original acute angle of 20 degrees. And then this other angle that I made right here, which is 70 degrees. If you take my 70, it's also acute, and the 20 those are complementary angles because they add up to 90. So if we continue the pattern, we're going to draw an obtuse angle next. An obtuse angle is larger than right angles, larger than 90. It's also less than 180 degrees. If you have something that's larger than 180, that's called a reflex angle. So I'm going to take this 0, 180 line at the very bottom. Because if you look at that, you see my original red line, if I look at my inside, that's going to give me my measure because it goes from 0 all the way up to 110. And that is how we draw an obtuse angle. 